there are three different types of fog in Flowscape. Distance fog, which is just labeled as fog, ground fog, and volumetric fog. This main fog slider is our distance fog. As we move it up, it starts further away, it thinks closer and closer, start getting the fog applied. If we click these two arrows, it opens up our fog menu. Fog color at the top affects our distance fog. It's a simple RGB, and will allow you to set the color to whatever you'd like. Everything set to the right is white, everything set to the left is black. The next fog we have is ground fog. As you see here, the bounds of the ground fog are set by the terrain. First setting is height, how high or low your ground fog is. The next is amount. If I turn it all the way up, it takes a little time for this setting to change. We can see the scene filled with fog. Turn it all the way down, you'll see it thin out a little bit. The density slider affects how dense the fog is. This will change it from either fully opaque to transparent. Just like distance fog, you can set the color of the ground fog with the RGB sliders. All the way to the right is fully white. However, unlike distance, all the way to the left is actually fully transparent. And last, we have volumetric fog. This is a moving fog that is generated around the camera. Our first setting is altitude, how high or low we want our fog to be. The size affects how large or small it is along the horizontal axis. The height affects the vertical axis. Distance will set how far away from your camera the fog is generated. Just like ground fog, the density slider will change how opaque or transparent the fog is. The sparsity slider affects the amount of fog generated. All the way to the right, very few clouds. All the way to the left, dense, thick fog. Now I've moved the sun down in position to show off the next setting and that's diffusion. This setting determines how much your sunlight will affect the fog. Very low, gives no effect. Turned up, and you can see the clouds light up. Speed determines how fast your clouds move across your scene. Turbulence either speeds up or slows down the randomness that is applied to the fog's shape. Just like the other two fogs, you can set the color of your volumetric fog. All the way to the left gives you dark clouds, and all the way to the right is white with all the colors in between.